Hello awesome Gemini friends. Thank you so much for joining me for another Charms reading. If you're looking for more in your birth chart, check out my my link. My, I'm sorry, my channel. I'm posting all the elements together. I'm also posting them separately over on my V Love and Crystals channel. So if you want them separated one element per day, then check out my channel. I'll have a link below. So this is for you awesome Gemini friends, you air signs, we're going to get into your angel number, your current energy, your love, money, what you can look forward to, and your guidance. <clears throat> so let's uh, pull some angel numbers. I'm going to use my dice to see. Oh, hold on. Okay, number two, you, you rolled out. Keeping it how it is. Two. You have two. Gemini, what else? Three, twenty-three. So we're gonna do angel number twenty-three for you, and we're also going to do five. Angel twenty-three, Gemini friends. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you love about being a Gemini. All right, twenty-three. You are being guided by ascendant masters at this time. Trust that the path you are on is perfect for your current situation. So those, that's for those who will resonate. If you feel like you're on the right path, this is your confirmation. And number five. Five, number five. Abundance is a state of mind. When you feel rich spiritually, your physical life will reflect it. I like that. Words of affirmation. That's strong. Isn't it strong? All right, so let's get into your charms. Thank you so much for your time, for your love, for your support. <clears throat> Thank you for leaving me beautiful comments. Thank you for interacting and for however you do, whether you are liking, sharing, subscribing, if you're commenting. If you have purchased any of our decks in the past, I thank you so much. Please tag me on social media, Instagram at VLoveCrystals. So if you are ear sensitive, I'm going to be uh, sh shuffling your charms. So I would recommend muting the video so this doesn't hurt your ears. So let's get into your messages. We're going to do current energy, love, money, and what you can look forward to with your guidance. Gemini, air signs, Gemini, air signs. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this, shall we? Alright, in your current energy you have this star here. So there could be a wish trying to come true for you. You could be wishing upon a star manifesting. Right now you have the green light. Lime green light to keep on manifesting. What is it that you're looking for? What is it that you're wanting? What is it that you're trying to um, achieve? Right now is the time to wish and believe. Just like your message said, if you believe you're rich spiritually or if you believe you're rich in general, you can achieve this. I love it. You have the no sign, so something could be not for you at this time. So whatever... Whatever you are getting into that doesn't feel right, make sure you're paying attention to your intuition. If it doesn't feel right, it's for a reason. You're picking up on the red flags. Also, there could be things in your life that you might need to cut out at this time. No smoking, no drinking, no over-exercising, no working yourself to the ground, no X, Y, and Z, whatever the case is, okay? No scrolling up and down for 10 hours a day. Um, Spirit could be asking you to now... Uh, make appropriate and healthy choices for yourself. Also, spirit could also be warning you of signs that are that's coming towards you, warning you um, with that no, that no. Okay. Also, you could be saying, "Look, I'm protecting my boundaries. I'm saying no to you at this time. Feel free to exercise your word no." All right, in your love, you have a lot of stuff going on in your love life. You have this money here, so you could be feeling very passionate about an, an, a, a job or a, a creative uh, idea, something that could bring you some good stability, some good money. You could be feeling like, like you want to plant a seed and see it prosper, see if it's going to grow. Sort of saying go for it, but if you have passion for it, Roll with it, yes. If you have passion for it, turn your passion into a profit. If you are about, if you love crafting or if you love creating uh, something digital, like a digital product, and you, you find it to be so like creative and fun, and if you don't know if it's going to turn into something very um, 
lucrative, lucrative, then just give it a try. If you love it so much, see what happens, see what comes out of it. Also, your love with money can grow. You need to love money, respect money more. You could say you need to start saving. You have the little ghost dog. Oh, how cute. So something could be, somebody could be ghosting from you or you're ne needing to avoid and ghost someone. Someone who you've ghosted or someone who ghosted you could be coming back trying to. Don't hit, hate the messenger, but you have the uh, ability to say no thank you. No thank you, I prefer not to revisit something from the past. No ghost from the past, no thank you. Or you can say, let me see what this person wants. So the love is someone from your past coming through or trying to. It's up to you, okay friend? Use your free will, your better, judge, your better judgment, your discernment, your intuition. You can say no thank you or you can say yes thank you. Yes please. You have this song, la la la. So this is you exercising your voice. You can say no, you can say yes. You can also be needing to express what's on your heart, on your mind at this time with your loved one. Whether it's a romantic relationship or not. La la la. That's singing, that's expressively uh, vocalizing your concerns. So right now is the time to speak up. Or maybe it's an, an, now is the time to listen. Let's see what's this. You have, oh, more wishing upon a star. You have uh, the moon and some awesome stars here for your love. So a wish come true. You have it here twice. So, you, you know, if you're manifesting love, a connection, someone to uh, give you some... <clears throat> To show them to show reciprocity here. If you're just ma trying to manifest some type of love, you're like, come on, man, where, where's the, where's the dating pool? What's going on? Where is everybody? You could be uh, stepping into your wish come true. You, you, your dating life improving. This gives me the nine of pentacles energy. So you loving your single life, you loving your fine life, feeling very really good and confident, independent, and so you, you keep working on your nine of pentacles. Keep on working. I see. I see you doing fine things for yourself. That's how you're going to attract your someone of your frequency. Because you're doing so many wonderful things for yourself. You're building your confidence. You're, you're loving the skin that you're in. You're, you're feeling very uh, independent and strong and, and comfortable in your own territory. So that's awesome. Now, will you let someone into your territory? Will you entertain a new love interest? That's the question. Or will you continue to be single and maybe just mingling a little bit but not committing it's your prerogative friend but i do see I, I do see some kind of stability here for you okay you're really liking this for yourself money yep your money's improving you have this dime here fine dime you have <clears throat> excuse me what can you look forward to you have another star this is what i'm saying you got a lot of stars in your read you awesome air sign okay so you could be wishing upon a star a wish fulfillment something coming true for you you have it three times over so it's in your current energy it's in your love and it's in what you can look forward to so your wishes continuing to come true so if you're manifesting praying meditating wanting something you're speaking out words of affirmation you're thinking these positive thoughts you air sign you are bringing in this beautiful abundance okay so it's asking you to be very 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 clear with what you're looking for in a relationship what you're looking for when it comes to your money. Uh, yeah, be very communicative, very clear. You have this castle right here, so this tells me you could be feeling very uh, protective over your, your, your domain, your body, your temple, your heart. Um, or this is saying that you are going to be in that energy of you feeling more protective over your energy and who you let into your into your energy, into your field, your field of vision, your, your, your love, your heart, your time. Uh, also, royalty is here, so you could be working up the rung, really making a name for yourself. Maybe you're becoming popular or well-known, or there's a demand for your attention. Maybe your people are noticing you more. Nine of Pentacles energy. In your guidance, you have to put something on a pedestal. You have to put something up. Your guidance is to place, place something that you're proud of. Work on your on uh, acknowledging all the abundance around you. Everything that you have worked so hard for. If you worked hard for your home, start appreciating and being grateful for your home. If you worked hard for your six-figure business, man, look at all the beautiful abundance around you. Appreciate it. Bask in your hard work, your, your efforts, your rewards. Yeah, needing to put something up, you know, high, like something that you're proud of, you worked so hard for. You may be, busy, you know, uh, putting a lot of energy and time into your crafts and you're forgetting to look at the big picture. Look what, how far, look with what 
Look what you've built and look how far you have come. All right, so let's dive into uh, some more guidance for you. I'm using the Rock and Roll Tarot. If you're interested in this deck, I will have the GameCrafter.com's website down in my description and pins in my comments. I also am doing a deck review on this if you're interested. All right, let's see this. Thank you so much for your time. We love your support. What is your guidance? You awesome Gemini, your social butterflies, your social socialites, versatile energy, thoughtful, creative, vocal, logical friends. All right, let's see. What is your guidance? Okay, you have the Six of Pentacles. Like I said, somebody from the past, I'm sorry, Six of Cups. Somebody from the past could try to be revisiting, trying to reconcile with you, reunite with you, even says it here, reunite. You can say no, thank you, or yes, please, yes, thank you. It's nice to hear from you again. This can be a business partner. This can be an old colleague, an old friend, someone from school. It can be a, a friend of the family. Or it can be the return of a sentiment, a return of a feeling that you used to feel a long, long time ago. You have two of cups. See, this person is going to offer you love. I don't think it's like something casual. It's like something more love-fulfilled, love-based. You have the Six of Swords here, so Spirit could be asking you, you know, go out on a date, see what these, this person's intentions are. If it's someone from your past, maybe it's just the sentiment that's being returned, like you fell in love before and now you're, it's coming back again. You're realizing what it's like to fall in love again. Six of Swords, you're, yeah, you know, I knew your energy was going to come out. I knew your, your, your air energy was going to come out. And there you go, Nine of Pentacles too. Again. Okay, so hold on, let me pull this out. Okay. I had a feeling your air energy was going to pop through. Six of Swords with the Four of Swords. So you need to be very <clears throat> uh, mindful of your surroundings, very protective over your surroundings. You could be stepping into calmer waters now. Things are looking good for you, air. Look, things are looking very um, prosperous for you, peaceful, healing, healing energy for you. You do have all the stars here, so some healing taking place. Duh. I'm thinking wish fulfillment, but maybe that was a wish. Maybe your wish was to heal, to move past something, and you're stepping into that energy. Nine of Pentacles, like I said, I, this is what I said with this pendant right here. You're um, independent, you're fine, self. You're looking really good. You're feeling really good, confident, independent. Keep on going with your bad self. Go ahead. You have the Three of Wands, so you're waiting patiently for some kind of return. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. Like I said, there's something in being improved. There's fates here. Destiny, something is really looking good. Something's really looking good. You have all these stars, moon and the stars, okay? It was not revealed with the moon, and now things are finally going to uh, be revealed. What's done in the darkness comes to the light. So you're going to see uh, news, somebody coming in here with an offer, with a song, with the serenadings, with the, with the text, with the email, with someone who has a nice voice, or maybe you guys are going to have good conversations, all this talking, la, la, la. All right, so you seen eye to eye with someone who's on the same mate, same same page as you they could be a soulmate there could be chemistry there could be some kind of um companionship you know feeling very happy with this person a partnership um chemistry magnetism feeling really comfortable with this person coming in and the energy is that you could be feeling this way towards uh, a person or uh, something that you're passionate about with which could be a job or new friends coming in you making new friends you're making uh, uh, new business uh, partnerships however this resonates for you so that's what I have for you Gemini thank you so much for letting me read for you if this resonated please do hit the thumbs up please share this video please subscribe and comment and I'll catch you in the next one check out my other charms readings they're going up on this channel shortly take care